I'm the first African-American woman to pilot a spaceship, but I will not be the last. I, I wanted to be a fighter pilot and an astronaut. There were no women fighter pilots and there were no black female astronauts. Going through the sciences, a lot of times being the only woman of color in my classes, you'd have this voice inside your head saying, well, you don't belong or you're never going to make it. The biggest influence that I had growing up was my dad. He passed away when I was 19. And so just when I was kind of discovering who I wanted to become, he was no longer there. So I'd say, well, what would my dad say to me? And he would say, you know, don't give up, you know, um, or uh, make sure you apply. Uh, don't talk yourself out of opportunity. So those are the things that I've learned to do. When the State Department asked me to become part of their, you know, science envoy team, I was like, really? <laughs> you want me? I'm just so thrilled to be able to go and talk about my journey and all the things that I've learned. That's that whole kind of like teacher in me who wants to help prepare the next generation, particularly women of color, to be able to have the confidence that they can go and do what I've done.